Welcome back to Bloodhound and Anatomy of the Car. In this week's episode, we're going to talk about the blade. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any of the new content that's coming. So the blade is at the heart of the front of the car and it's made up of two large composite blade sections, some bulkheads in both directions, aluminium and carbon again. But in this case, at the front of the car, we had to be able to remove panels because we were now starting to package lots of systems and equipment inside the car. So with those panels removed, all of that equipment still had to be supported. So the blade had to be super strong, but also it had to connect to the front of the monocoque. Some of the systems that are installed are things like the hydraulic tank, and you can see how it's installed there. The nitrogen tanks, and you can see the number of tanks and how they're installed. And the battery systems. And all these systems, all this weight, is hanging off the blade section, which is hanging off the front of the monocoque. So the blade has to be super strong. Let's look at the structure. So the blade section is made up of two very big, very strong carbon composite U-section beams. And there's a great episode of Cisco Bloodhound TV that talks all about how we make our composites. So check that out. The link will be below in the description. But this U-section is supremely strong. The two together, plus two big aluminium bulkheads makes for a very strong stiff structure but it's still got to react all the way back to the monocoque on these spindly ends but it's very very strong in what it does it's supporting all of that equipment so it's an incredibly busy part of the car and we're starting to see the packaging challenges where we're literally searching for millimeters of packaging space in a 13 meter long car and all of this structure the batteries the nitrogen tanks the hydraulics the large panels it's all hanging off the front of the monocoque and these connections on the end of the blade sections. Let's go and take a look. And all of that front structure mounting off the blade is then connected to the front of the car on the monocoque here, here, and here. And that wraps around the front suspension subassembly, also known as a goat's head. And we'll talk about that in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any of this new content. See you next time.